as it happens. All suspects are considered innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Where's your mother now? She's supposed to get out today. Today's She's supposed 27. to get out of jail today? Today's 27. No, today's 26. Oh, she'll be out tomorrow. She's getting out of jail tomorrow? <laughs> What'd she go to jail for this time? Possession. How old's your mother? 37. And how old are you? 16. 16. Where are you living now? My grandma. Where's she? Where's that? On Johnson Street, 61st. You sure you, you don't go there every night? Not every night, but I stop by. Where do you sleep at besides that? I get a hotel. <laughs> huh? Get a hotel? Do you or does someone else get it for you? I get it. You get it? <laughs> I remember yesterday you told me you were arrested for prostitution. When was that? Uh. I don't know, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago? Yeah. That was in Hollywood? Mm -hmm. Lying to cover cops. So what are you doing for money now? <laughs> don't ask that. You just Same thing I just out. said? No. Huh? Uh-uh. I get it from people I know. People you know? What do you do for these people? Uh, they just like my company. <laughs> I tell you, you hang out on Federal Highway, you're going to be going to jail. I know. Bye. Bye. The warnings don't help. They keep coming back. They need the money. You want 2248, 1 alpha 206, attention. 1 alpha 205, 65, and 33, signal 33. For the longest time, all she was doing was waiting for you to get out of jail. I probably don't want no part of me. When did she start going to school? When she got in the seventh grade. She was what like age was she? Twelve. Yeah. It was like Frankenstein. Yeah. Really. Changed overnight? Yeah. But you see, N she, what now I feel like when I spoke to her when I was in county jail, she told me that she was going to change and she hoped that I would change, right? And I said, no problem. Why does she prostitute? Just to get drugs? Just to get drugs? She will buy nothing else, no persons or anything like that. She'll tell me, you're my mother, you buy it. Uh-huh. You miss the way she was? It's, uh, it's not fun. And sometimes I'll walk up here, you know, and I'll just sit on the bench and cry my eyes out. Yeah. Because I, cause I don't want to be here. I'm worried about Kelly. I'm worried for my own self. Yeah. And I'm disgusted with myself. I'm scared of getting arrested. I'm scared of jail. Huh. It's not fun. No. No. Sir, turn your car off and shut it off. Susan, step out. Step out, sir. Let me see your driver's license. Did she has to give you, for you to give her a ride or something, no, or what? No, she came and opened the door, and the, you were right there, sir. You were right there. Okay, well, why are you pulling down in here? I was just yeah, trying to pull because I couldn't. Oh, well, I know, but why are you turning into here? Why are you going to park here? I wasn't parking number one, sir. Why were you going to park here, though? I was 
want to go across the store to look at the furniture. You were. But then furniture. I don't, I don't think that's true. Uh, Just sit in your car, sir. Uh, Susan, what are you doing? One minute. Huh? Okay. He met me last night. He says he, he, says he pulled in here and you opened the door and got in, okay? That's the usual thing for you, okay? Listen. What are you doing out here? You're going to burn out and you're going to end up in a gutter somewhere. You know? I didn't even want to come back here Just when I got out of there prison, where I told okay? You to. I know, but you know that... You know that Dania is just, you know, it's just bad news for you. I come back here that an HR is committed. I have to go to court tomorrow. All right. You know what Kelly's good, is in, uh, going to trial for tomorrow? Resisting arrest. And what else? That's all Prostitution. You know what I ought to do right now, don't you? Yes, that's a That's a good loitering charge right there. Stopping a car on Federal Highway and then pulling back in here. So that's a good charge. Well, this lady's probably going to go to jail, okay? And I want you to drive off, and I want you to go home, okay? And don't let me see you stopping and picking up girls anymore, okay? All right, go on home, sir. Thank you. Now, you know I caught you red-handed working the street out here with that guy, okay? But there's another thing that I'm concerned about is you got to go to court for your daughter tomorrow because she's in jail for the same thing you're doing tonight, okay? You're going to have to get together with her and the judge and, and HRS and get her charges taken care of and y'all get out of here. That's, a, that's the best thing to do. And get away from those drugs over there, you know? you got to have to do that. If you take her back over there on that street... It's just, you're all just jigging your grave over there. Now, I'm going to let you go tonight because I want you to be there with your daughter tomorrow. Have you talked to your attorney about the violation of probation? Yes, sir. Okay, what do you want to do on the violation of probation? We'd like to plead guilty on that. Fine. You want to go back to that program? You understand if you split? Then I get an escape charge. And then what? Then I come back here and violation probation. And then you go to a program that's not near... Not nearly as nice as a starting okay. place residential. Okay. I'll see you in five days. You need to be interviewed by the starting place, and I recommend that you beg them to take you back. It seems kind of funny, all that all that talk that you said before, and now oh. you didn't show up today. It kind of shows the judge oh. that you don't have, you know. Porn, uh, well, it, hey, it's, it's your daughter, okay? Oh, and it kind of shows... It yeah, shows the judge that there's nothing all the there. time I've been by Kelly's side. You know, she knows deep in her heart. I've got no guilty conscience whatsoever. Believe that. I don't. My conscience is clear. I've done everything I could for Kelly. She's been doing this since she's 12 years old. Hey, everybody get around here. Let's stay in the line. We'll get over there. We'll, we'll have a briefing over there. Okay. Then you want me to... Jay's over right now conducting surveillance on the suspect. He's home. You made a buy for this guy, right? Sure. Yeah. Right, what do you have when you made a buy? Um, he gave us uh, a little quarter of uh, nice uh, cannabis. Can he have cocaine in there? Yeah. Uh, the intelligence has, and he has uh, anywhere between eight and nine pounds of uh, grass at any given time. Also, a cigar box full of powder cocaine. Oh, so it should be good. Any guns? Oh, yeah. Well, we've got some information that uh, this gentleman has had some problems uh, being ripped off by other people. And uh, now we have intelligence that there are possible weapons in it. And we have locations of possible weapons. Sheriff's Department, search warrant. Watch the back. Get it back in. Get it back in. Come on. Open the door. Sheriff's Department. Get down. Get down. Okay. Right. Nice job. Down, down on the ground. Down on the ground. I got it. Okay. Down on the ground. Yeah. Down on the ground. Yeah. Bring John back. Yes, sir. John. John. Wait, wait, Bob. You're John. Right? No. Listen to me. Yes, sir. You're on probation. Your name's John. Yes. Right. Just come with us, right? Now. Hold on to him. Hold on. Hey, I'm floating. Hey, Let's go. We have a search warrant for your house. Okay, get two chairs back over. Well, let's separate. Put her over here. We'll put him over here. Okay. Yeah. Let's check 42. Check 42. Back up to 13. Check behind the dresser. Well, there's a scale. We got a scale here. Looks like they had some stuff in this drawer. Looks like they're figures. Figuring it out. Check behind the dresser because there's a scale there. Yeah, Captain, looks like they're putting their figures on over here. What do you got? Looks like about a pound. Here we go. Here we go. That's some good weed. Looks like some cents. Advise them if they like to send an officer by, be fine. 
What's that? Wait, wait, wait. What's that? What's that? Give me more reaper. Let's have yeah. More pot. Yeah. He's got it all over the place. Yeah. What's your name? Kathy. Kathy, what I'm saying is, it's usually honesty can all be uh, I'd, I'd really rather you say, I don't want to answer that rather than lie to me. Okay. No, 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 no. That's a wrong attitude, okay? Look at me. You want Kathy to go to prison for your stupidity, too? And you don't be running your mouth off to other people, okay? Hey, whatever. It's your, that's your business. Okay, Mark, just sit him down. Okay. Nothing, Kathy. But just shut up, please. Try to be decent to you, and that's what we get. Why you waste all the time? You try time? to be decent to me? He smacks me in the face. That one right there smacks me in the face. Thank you, sir. Excuse, Excuse me. me. All right, let's no, go. No, no, that officer. No, 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 this is the way it's going to go. He don't want to say nothing, don't ask him nothing. That's yes. it. It's over. Easy. Don't say nothing, okay? On, you guys. have that right. So don't say anything. Go put him in the van. That's a good idea, Deke. Put him in the van. Yeah. You want it in New Jersey, Santa Claus? Like I say, you know, Kathy, you, do, was, you say whatever you want. It was a misdemeanor, but yes. Okay. See, all these problems we can deal with, but you got to be honest. Okay, well. If I got to go dig and I got to find. That was my first step. I was scared to, you know, tell you that that's, okay, that's is this, all. What's your relationship with John? He is my boyfriend, fiance, okay. whatever. How long has he been selling drugs? I don't know why I should be telling you about that. Well, you know what? You don't have to tell me anything. But, you know, you're telling me New Jersey wants you, now Florida got a beef with you. You know. Where's your parents at? They live in Delta, Florida. Are they going to be happy about this? No, not at all. I bet, they, how do they feel about you living with John? Um, I don't think they're too happy. I mean, you seem a little bit sorry for what you did. You seem like you're probably a, a nice person. He's an idiot. He's an idiot. He's on probation for the very same thing. I, um, I try to tell him, but he just doesn't listen. Well, as long as you're honest with us, we'll do anything we can for you. We just want the drug deal to stop. I don't, right. Well, it's definitely going to stop now, that's for sure. Okay. Come on, we'll put you out in the truck. So watch this, but uh, we're losing. Yeah. having a party in your car? No? Everybody just dumped all the empties into your car? No, I didn't want to pollute. Oh, gee. Cannabis. You're under arrest for opening up all beverage container in DUI. You're under arrest for opening up all beverage container. You're under arrest for the same thing and contributing to delinquency and minors. And then you're all under arrest, except you were sitting in the front right. You're also getting charged with possession of paraphernalia since the bong is underneath your seat. Okay? You understand? You understand? You understand? Good. Yeah, that's all, folks. Sit sideways. Put them off your side a little bit. Whose wallet? Got it? I wouldn't want to light a match within 10 feet of this car. The aroma of alcohol would explode. 7-Eleven. What does this with the clerk? Let them show a white male. This is, this is grade A right here. You know, it never ceases to amaze me when they're drunk and they have an accent like this, they never get hurt. 
because they're intoxicated, their body's in a relaxed state, and because they're relaxed, they're not hurt as much. Okay. Anybody in it? Oh, they got them out already. Right? there was another passenger. We can't find anybody else. I think his car's totaled, too. Oh, well. well. What do you think? This guy's trash. Yeah. He said somebody else was in the car. Yeah, he says there's somebody else in the car, and we can't find them. Hey, come on. You want to help me grab the legs here? Just like one guy was drunk. Uh, he claims the light was blue. Maybe he meant it was green. Spanish guy, doesn't speak English. We don't have any address around him, just in case they were decided to bug out or something like that. The motorcyclist, the EMS said on the scene that he was, he was dead. There was no way he was going to make it. Because his body damage on the side of that truck, he almost, even had to crush every bone in his body. Whoever wants to take the second one, just come on back and you and then you. Nah, we're going right all the way. There's no uh, special thing that anyone does when they're under the influence. You find a lot of people straddling lines, a lot of people that are weaving in and out of their lane. If you look at his driving right now, he almost hit the curb right there. He's riding in the gutter. Boom. Driver only, exit the vehicle. Step on back here for me. Step on back here for me. What kind of drink did you just pour out of the car on the floor there? What kind of drink? Yes, sir. Any kind of drink. What kind of drink was it? Something with alcohol in it? No. You didn't pour a drink out of the car? So I didn't see you open up the door and pour this drink out? No. And these ice cubes right here, yeah. is it cold enough for ice to maintain itself out here for yeah. a while? You think so? How long have I been out here? How long do what? How long have I been out here? Well, I saw you pulling up. Everything was dry out here. Now it's not dry anymore. How did you know that? How did I know that? Because I've been watching. Have you been watching? Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm with the DUI task force in the Broward County Sheriff's Office. I'm going to take this. No, listen to me. I'm conducting a criminal investigation for DUI. I'm going to give you several voluntary field sobriety tests. We'll take these tests out here. They're real easy to do. I will. Okay, why don't you step Walk back to the through. car? Why don't you step over to the sidewalk over here, okay? Partner, do me a favor, shut your door and keep it shut. What I'm going to show you to do is this test right here. It's called nine steps forward, nine steps back. One. Okay. You can restart whenever you'd like. One, two, heel to toe, no gap, three. sir. Traffic verified, 1065. Six, seven, eight, no gaps. Nine. Okay, sir, based on what I've seen, I'm placing you under arrest for DUI. You can go ahead and relax and put your hands down by your side, okay? Do you understand you're being placed under arrest? I understand. You understand you're being placed under arrest for DUI, correct? You need to step over to my police unit over here. Seal your lips around the small part of the tube and blow out. It'll be just like blowing up a balloon. Okay, sir. The legal drinking limit in the state of Florida is a .10. You blew a .20 and a .20. That means you doubled the legal drinking limit, so you shouldn't have been drinking and driving. It looks like it happened up here. Two drag racing, two involved that were not drag racing. This one caught fire. Driver, this one's got a broken neck. Yeah. This one was on fire. Passerby's pulled the guy yeah. out of this one. I don't know about that one, and I don't know about uh, the one lady. back the other way. Is that confirmed fatal yet, or is it just two serious injuries now? Nah, he's probably going to go. He's going out of there. I could hear you. I didn't know where North 1400 block was. If you said well, it was North, North Sun Federal, Federal, I don't know that. There's two North Federals. There's one in Pompano, yeah, one here, and one in Dayton. That's, I'm not that familiar with you said, are you North 1400? Okay. Fine, take what? Let me get this. Coming 
people were involved in this accident. How many victims? This is the end result. White male, 17 years old, and uh, died as a result of massive injuries received in an accident due to his driving. Uh, this is the end result that happens at a lot of our accidents. When you have a mixture of different things, it's a shame. <laughs> it's a real shame. Exactly where you want to do this seven.